Uh, first and foremost, I'm going to go a little off topic here because I haven't stopped thinking about it since I heard about it. I want to, as a brother of an SEC team, you know, I want to give my heartfelt uh, your condolences to Coach Ensminger and his family. I couldn't even imagine, you know, what he must be going through. I don't know him personally, uh, but I've obviously competed against him in the last two years in LSU and have a tremendous amount of respect for him as a man and as a coach. And I do know Joe Brady very, very well. Congratulations to LSU football program and Clemson as well. And, and I know I probably speak for everybody in the college football world. Our thoughts and prayers go out to Coach Ensminger and his family. Uh, second, you know, it's awesome to be here in Nashville on a, on a more positive note. You know, I've, I'm now one of the veterans on our staff at Mississippi State. And I, I told Brad, I think that they ought to have, if there's a page in the program or a, uh, maybe a, something around the top of the stadium there where it says McNair and Eddie George and guys like that, maybe they ought to put the, the Bob Shoup name. I've been to this bowl game now four times with four different programs, and I think that's really hard to do, you know, and under some different sponsorship and things like that. But 2001, we were here at, when I was at Boston College and we beat Georgia. 2012, I was a coach for the Vanderbilt Commodores and we beat NC State. And 2016, I uh, was on the Tennessee Volunteer staff and we beat University of Nebraska. So this bowl game's a great one. We love Nashville. I think it's, it is, uh, it, it's, it's the most hospitable city in the country. And we're very, very excited to be a part of this game uh, tomorrow against a great Louisville team. So, you know, that's, that's my little spiel right there. And as far as the game, you know, we're really excited. You know, I mean, it's been a topsy-turvy, crazy kind of season. You know, obviously we got off to a pretty good start and Coach probably went over some of that stuff. You know, in, uh, in September we finished out 3-1. and one. We had a rough month of October. We had to go on the road and play three really good teams, Auburn, Tennessee, and, and Texas A&M, and didn't fare real well. And we had LSU come to our place. So we found ourselves heading into the month of November with a three and five record, you know, with a team and a program that had gone to nine straight bowl games. And we challenged the, the players, the leadership, we challenged the unit, and we challenged our, uh, you know, team, you know, how we'll be defined and how we'll be remembered is by how we perform in the month of November. And we went out in the month of November and went three and one. We went to Arkansas and, and beat them. You know, we lost to a, a good Alabama team and then we, you know, we did what we had to do against Abilene Christian in our rivalry game against Ole Miss. So we finished the season, obviously, uh, with enough wins to, to make bowl eligibility. We finished with a 4-3 and three record at home. We beat our, our, uh, our, our, our most bitter of rivals. And so we're very, very excited to be here. Our players have practiced really hard. You know, one of the hidden benefits of a bowl game is to have, you know, 15 practice opportunities. And as a young team, and as a team that's fought a lot of adversity this year with suspensions and whatnot, to get that whole crew together and practicing you know, at one time hasn't happened a lot during the year. So, you know, we, pra we did a really good job. Coach did a great job segmenting practice into what we term program development practices, where it was really almost like training camp or spring football again, where everybody got reps and you got to work with some of the young players maybe that you hadn't worked with a lot during the year. You know, and obviously you put your game plan in at home because as you get to the bowl site, there are distractions. It's not your normal routine. So we practiced, you know, last Thursday, Friday, and Saturday at home like a traditional game week. And then when we got here, it's been great. We got here Christmas night. You know, it was like a Monday of game week. You know, we had a normal Tuesday practice, normal Wednesday practice. Yesterday was like a normal Thursday practice. Today will be a Friday walkthrough. Uh, we had a great host. We were obviously over at Vanderbilt, practiced in their stadium, and today we'll work out in their indoor facility and, and appreciate, like I said, what the bowl does for us. And, and uh, you know, great events. I know, you know the welcome dinner at the, at the Wild Horse Saloon the other night was outstanding. I thought our guys did a good job need to do a little better in the chicken eating contest. I didn't know they had a ringer on their team. And, uh, you know, but I thought our guys did a good job in the song, con you know, the uh, songwriting contest. And I know our guys enjoyed the, the wrestling piece last night. And now it's time to get down to business. And, and we got a game tomorrow at 3, 3 o'clock. That's that. Bobby, now looking at the numbers, you guys have done some different things with blitzing and getting more pressure on the quarterback <laughs> the last few weeks. But, uh, over the last two two weeks of the season, I think it's not eight nine sacks. What do you feel like you guys have done differently with the pass rush, and how much of that is just guys fitting the gaps or what? I mean, what do you see as the difference? Well, you know, I think you know our, our identity all along. Each, each team has its own identity. The 2018 team certainly had a unique identity, and this team had one, and, and next year's team were. But it was hard to develop an identity with this team, you because of uh, you know. When you have 10 players suspended for eight games, you know, three of your most experienced players on defense, you're mixing and matching, you're putting parts in. And then during the course of the year, we had so much adversity. We have, 
you know, four contributors who had season-ending ACL injuries. Uh, Cam Danzer missed numerous games with a variety of injuries and obviously won't be here. I think Coach has already addressed that this weekend. So just trying to find an identity with this group. And, and, and we've struggled a little bit with that. You know, we're very young up front and we're inexperienced at some positions in the secondary. But the, I think towards the end of the year, the Arkansas game gave us a little bit of confidence. Although we didn't play very well against Alabama, I thought the, the last two and a half quarters, you know, we stepped up and played a little bit better. And, and we're able to have a really good plan, you know, versus Abilene Christian. And then I, I thought our guys really played what we don't call it a scheme, we call it our style of play. And I thought we played to our, our style of play really for about 59 minutes against Ole Miss. You know, I think we certainly made it a little more exciting than it had to be at the end. But I thought our guys, you know, pressured hard, ran to the ball, and, and played like I think a Mississippi State defense should play for the majority of that game. And, and bowls are funny because it's a we're a month since the last game, but our guys have continued to practice hard and prepare hard. And, and ha half the battle in a bowl game is desire to be there. And I think our guys have expressed and, and shown a desire to be here and really excited about this opportunity to, to play together one more time. Bob, how much uh, confidence do you have in those freshman corners that may start tomorrow and also a first-time starter in Fred Peters? <laughs> um, you know, you look at our secondary right now, I mean, it's, uh, it's not the same group that started the season, certainly. I mean, you came in the season and you thought you had, you know, maybe to replace some players, but you had some experience. And C.J. Morgan's obviously, you know, out with an injury. You know, Mo Smitherman's out with an injury. Danzler and Cole have chosen to, 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 to um, you know, pursue the next level. And we certainly support them in that. And that seems to be a, something that's happening more and more, not just at Mississippi State, but throughout the course of college football. Um, but, you know, Jarian and Martin certainly aren't even freshmen anymore. I mean, they demonstrated a, a maturity and they just demonstrated a, a, a physical ability throughout the course of the year, and they've been solid contributors. So between the two of those guys and Tyler Williams, we're very, very confident at the corner position. And you know, you go back to the Abilene Christian game. You know, Brian Cole played a majority of snaps at the nickel position for us, but you know, Fred played a fair amount. Fred, uh, Fred's not your normal rookie because he's a junior college guy. He's got high football IQ. Um, you know, so I'm really excited. Fred was our uh, most valuable defensive player for the Abilene Christian game. He had an interception, he had a strip sack, and he had a tackle for loss. You know, so Fred's, again, got a maturity to him. And with what LSU does, or excuse me, uh, what, what uh, Louisville does, you know, we'll have some different packages in there where we might have three linebackers in the game at certain times. And, you know, Willie will do some of those things and with Errol and, and Leo. And, and so, I mean, we, we've got some different packages. So Fred won't have to brunt, you know, bear the, the entirety of, of things right there. But we're very, very confident with all the players that are here. Uh, one more question. Wow. He's well, I almost hate to waste this I'll, one. I'll, I'll, I'll take as many as you want. <laughs> um, you mentioned that you'd been to the, this bowl game with four different programs, which is certainly unusual, but <laughs> not atypical of a, a football coach's uh, career path, that uh, there's a lot of changes. How many uh, homes have you owned? And uh, <laughs> uh, at, at one time, what was the most? Uh, well, I mean, I, I have moved around a lot. I'm, I'm getting to the age now. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I don't know how many homes I've owned, but I, we, we've lived in a lot of different places. We've been, it's been quite a journey and I'm very, very, the way I'll answer that question is I'm very, very fortunate to have an incredible wife and I'm, incre uh, two incredible sons. Uh, one of the sons, uh, played at Penn State and was a part of a Rose Bowl team, a Fiesta Bowl team and a, a uh, team that played in the Gator Bowl and a team that played in, uh, uh, last year they played in the Citrus Bowl. And then my son's at University of Tennessee now, he's a junior there, and unfortunately they hadn't gone to bowl games the last two years, but he just left last night to go to the Gator Bowl in Jacksonville. So, you know, they're, they're, they've done a great job. They've, they've seen a lot of different things. And, you know, when I think about, when I come back to Nashville, because it's funny, we do have a home in Starkville and we have a home in Nashville. You know, it's, uh, this is a, Nashville's a great city. You know, so to be back to this bowl game right now and be in this city is a, a real thrill for me and my family. And my wife's actually stayed in our townhouse in Green Hills, you know, for the majority of the week rather than staying at the hotel with us. And, you know, she rolled out of bed and went to the Bluebird and met, every, met the wives for the trip over there yesterday for the wives experience. So I'm not sure how many homes, um, but I'm getting a little bit older now. And uh, just like I said, I've really, I've enjoyed the opportunity that I've had to meet so many different people and hopefully impact the lives of so many young men. And, um, and, and really excited to be a part of this team this year and play one more game tomorrow you know, in Nissan Stadium against Louisville.